When you look at the lay of the land, you can see why this was such a challenge for law enforcement. There is Sydney over there on the eastern coast of the country here. And if we move in closer for a more detailed map of this area, you can see, yeah, there's the famous opera house we've always known about, the U.S. consulate not far away. And I've been to this area of this town at that time of day. And yes, it is absolutely just full of people, teeming with people down here. And if you move in closer, you can see why. There's the consulate, the Lens store, there's a TV network across the street, Reserve Bank of Australia. This is a tremendously busy area. But I want to bring up a detail of the place that he tried to take and point out why this was also a challenging environment for someone who wanted to do something terrible like this. Look at this building. The area he took over, yes, it had a ton of windows in which people could look in. This is the main entrance right there that we've been talking about this whole time. Over there is the entrance to the building. There appears to be another entrance into the lint shop here from the lobby. On the other side, if you come all the way around here, you can see toward the back, those black doors near the back there, that is yet another service entrance to this area. And there may yet be another one from above. These windows, by the way, may be pushing close to 20 feet tall inside, if you get to the roof inside. So you have maybe 2,500 square feet of area in there. So Jake, all day long, one of the big questions I think people have been asking is, how was it possible that people were able to sleep, slip out of there? That is a lot of territory for one gunman to try to control a lot of people. It is also a big challenge for the law enforcement people when they tried to go in with those flashbangs because they had to look over a big area and figure out precisely where this person was, where the hostages were as they moved in from numerous entrances. We know they came in numerous places at once. We don't know how many overall, but at least two, and to try to overpower this man. Big, big challenging environment for everyone involved.